today back in the shop on this old jewel on the giveaway car we're gonna get this thing hopefully running today we're gonna try to get exhaust put on it the starter fit in there and fire this thing up and get the cam broke in on it we'll get after it we got a lot of work to do I have a feeling that that is not the right yoke bottomed out it feels like doesn't feel right oh I don't know I need some help I know that all right with Randall's help <laughs> we're able to get this drive line in Went right back in. We had to tap it a little. The splines are a little rusty and stuff, but slid right in. So we'll put a couple or four bolts in that, all of them, and then we can build exhaust. Now we know where everything's at. All right, so we're gonna bend the exhaust up on this. It's gonna be pretty similar to what I did on my Firebird. Dual two and a half inch mufflers going out the back. So we'll get after it and start bending. All right, so. Muscle cars, if you don't do what I'm doing right now and come down this channel, then the pipes hang way out in the way and they look ugly. Hard to make this all fit properly. That's gonna be the ticket. Now I just gotta cut that off and slide it inside of there. Be good to go. What's happening, neighbor Max? Four broke down again today. Well, that's not good. They figured out about 10 o'clock that the whole problem was a brake valve that was froze up and it oh, yeah. in the air. That will do it. I think right there I'll kick it back and come down through that channel. I don't mind that. That, what that appears like. You want to come up and over. I'm going to put a kink in it right here. You come back along the, the gas tank. Another piece right out. Kick her down right at the old exhaust o piper. Okay. Cut that off, right there on that angle, probably right there. That'll be just wonderful. That'll be the tailpipe. One done. One length and a little bit to do one side. So now all I gotta do is repeat that side and then exhaust is done. Okay, we got exhaust is on it and all welded up. I gotta do a little trimming on this. I didn't get the angle right. You can see my mark. I gotta cut that with the Sawzall. And then I guess we're one step closer to making this run. If uh, Summit will come through and get us a starter, we'll be making some noise. You figure out what your old man broke yet? Yeah, it's bounded up this one, this gear or whatever here. So it turns from the motor it turns that, this one, and that's supposed to turn this one, but it's pushed up, so now it can't turn that. So we've got to pull it all apart and then see if we can pop it back into place. That's why he can't have nice stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> can't do donuts in a rock crawler and hit a wall. Got Matt Landon brought the mail. This is the replacement for this, so yeah. We're good to go. We're gonna set it in there and see if it fits. Maybe this 440 will make noise tomorrow. Nope. <laughs> she just won't fit. Nope. You boys are looking a little unsafe over here. 
I'm gonna have to change Those that. Those are like Kardashian I'm safety have to glasses. That. Holy smokes. These are these are gold lined. Oh yeah. Those are your new safety glasses. I feel like I need a pocket right here <laughs> and some stuff in it. From Scott Cotran. Thanks, Scott. I feel safer already. Okay. Someone didn't take the spark plugs out. Uh-oh. It won't move far enough with the plugs in. No, they hit the spark plugs. Uh, oh. Threw that right on the ground, but we didn't even need that part. Gonna need to clock it. It's gonna need to roll upwards. Oh, you actually have to switch holes to get it to clock? Oh, yeah. Which part's awesome? Here we go, see what she's looking at. So I'm just Instagramming of all of this stuff that everyone sent us. And I came across this. Look at that. Is that not awesome? I love this painting. And it's from, he only put George. He's from Cambridge, Massachusetts. So when we get our office, that's going in there for sure. All right. Come on, Betsy. Go up in there. So you don't have to take the header clear out, just mostly, to get one of these hair starters in a Mopar. And then there's an exact right way to wiggle it and to hold your mouth and everything to get it to all drop down in. I think it's gonna fit. Still ain't fit. I have to get the hammer out. Yeah. I'm just checking to make sure if that was a, a hammer or a massage that time. We're going to see if it fits. If it doesn't okay. fit, it's going to turn into a hammer. Little, little happy header. We're getting there, man. We're close. I think I'm happy with it. I'm going to bolt it down. We're going to see if some header bolts go in it. Michelle's going to do the happy dance if it works. Can't do it unless it works. Oh, okay. Too late, she already done it. Oh, that's my hand. Oh, that hurts. Got it. You bleeding yet? No, no, my skin's tougher than that. I'm just really debating on whether my family can starve tonight or if I should go up and make something. <laughs> they seem to think that I should make something. And it's days like that. It's 15 minute tacos. I was just thinking to myself, wonder if we could have tacos tonight. Oh, my dream might be coming true. 15 wow. minute tacos nonetheless. Oh, yeah. 10 minutes to brown the hamburger and 5 minutes to cook the corn tortillas and you're good to go. I'm gonna just want you to go underneath and push that exhaust up into that collector if it's possible. We're getting the, uh, I don't even know. The creepy crawler thing or what? Creeper. Is it a creeper? I was close. Oh look, it's a creep on a creeper. Creep on a creeper. How are we doing down here? Sucks. How bad? <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> on a scale of one to one. <laughs> it's, it's a 1.5. 1. 1. Well, that's not so bad. <laughs> this is looking all shiny and new in here. How did that guy say it on the, on the Jurassic Park? I spared no expense. I spared no expense. <laughs> <laughs> People are wondering why it is that you painted a Mopar engine Chevy orange. Well, we wanted the thing to run, giving it every chance it could have. Randall's down. What are you doing? He's you giggling. can't laugh on the job. He's Quit giggling, giggling down, down there. there. I'm getting punch drunk down here. <laughs> <laughs> Toughen up, Randall. Toughen up. Is this pertinent anymore? No, you're just going to skip to the good parts. <laughs> 11 minutes later valve cover too are you about done for the day i just said can we skip to the good part like 10 minutes ago and we haven't skipped to it yet <laughs> well you gotta wait for the good parts this only way you can skip it's fast forward and then randall doesn't work fast forward so we're, we're stuck <laughs> i do have I you not read so the much. comments <laughs> you keep recording for a minute and maybe I'll get a sentence out. I'm gonna go make some tacos, I guess. <laughs> tacos it is. Okay, take over, Randall. Okay, we'll see you later. See you later. Peace out. Oh, got another one of those right there. That's 
why you bring two wrenches. Drop one, you still can work. We're getting so close. One nap later. All right, it's a new day. We got the starter all on it last night. Today, we're gonna try to make some noise with this thing. We're putting spark plugs in right now. We're on some wires here in a second. We gotta still get a radiator in it, but we're gaining. We're gonna have some major stuff done. It should make noise tonight. The body and the bender work. Oh. Weakified it pretty hard here. Jason, did you, or Land, did you drive this car at some point? Uh, no, I did not. This looks like something you could have here. Oh, you were Jace. That was probably Jace. Throw him straight under the bus. Huh? Without even skipping no, a beat. <laughs> a little hard on stuff. We're doing some massaging now. It's almost back to factory specs. Yeah, Rob, you late and eat your heart out, dude. I don't even need you, man. <laughs> like a body and fender wizard right here. You give me a set of channel locks and a ball peen hammer, <laughs> fix anything. And Let's how see. this old girl fit. Oh, yeah. Radiator installed. All right, so tranny cooler, tranny lines are in. You'll notice this red stuff dripping out into this bucket. Where it's coming from really sucks. It means the transmission's gotta come back out of this pig. I'm not very happy about it. I gotta pull a tranny out and put a new pump sill in it. I guess at some point in time, through all of our transmission fiascos, we screwed a sill up. So, we'll pull that out and redo it. I love this job. This car, me and this car were bonding right now. Probably because I hit it with a hammer once, or the tranny, and now it's taking it out on me. That's probably what it is. But we're gaining, we're getting closer. Radiator's in it. Fans on it, belts are on it. Bottom radiator hose is not, because we don't have one. Tranny cooler, I mean, that'll probably work out here, really. Like, we could just make some little custom mount and just, like, zip tie it up there. We probably won't do that, but we, we're gaining. Four steps forward, 27 back. That's how it works. All right, turn around, we'll get the back. <laughs> Dar's getting a shot Good back. Anyways, yeah. Dar, everybody's been missing you. Yeah. They've been wondering where the heck Papa Dar is. He has to, he has to go to work still. <laughs> where else have you been though? Cruising, that's where oh, I he's went on been. Mm -hmm. We went on a cruise. And then a month ago we went to Hawaii. No, that was for Thanksgiving. So. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying, he's a traveling man, people. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. He's a hard worker and he travels for it. So, anyway, so Papa Dar is here. Occasionally. So. It's after six o'clock at night, so. Yeah. It's uh, bright and early in the morning. I'm headed to Canab for parts. I'm going to go get a seal to make that transfer transmission quit leaking. I'm going to get a radiator hose. Maybe we can make this thing run a little bit when I get back. I'm ripping to Canab. I'll be back shortly. All right, let's uh, bump this sucker over, find top dead center number one. We got the spark plug out already. Caps off. Get my finger down where the spark plug hole is. Right there. Blew it out. Gotta try again. We're way past it. Coming up. Oh yeah, that's timing markup. So if we set this cap on, we turn it like that, that's number one right there. We're on through some spark plug wires, put them on. We're close to making this thing light. Okay, now we just run through the pattern, throw them on, pour some gas in it, see if it lights. All right, we are currently wiring the coil. So this thing will make fire.
All right, let's let's crank it and see if it'll even pop or fart or anything. <laughs> Fuel leaking, stuff's not happy here. We don't have any fire either. No sparky, sparklesons. <laughs> not even so much as a toot fart pop out of that thing. Why not? I have no idea. Why wouldn't it work? <laughs> Valve train's rattling. Huh. Headers leak. We gotta find some push rods. Burning a little stuff off. Just some minor stuff and then we can fire it up and run it. not done by any means but we've kind of cleaned the shop out now we've got we could breathe here for a minute we broke the cam in we ran it for 20 minutes burying 2,000 to 3,000 rpms I think she's good we burned a header gasket up we're gonna have to spend some money on some good copper ones and throw in it the heater core died we're finding all the weak links in this car but motor sounds good sounds healthy we're gonna proceed on and keep putting this thing together for you guys and it's gonna be a fun ride thanks for watching